This LOS is convert cash flows from the indirect to direct method. Okay, conversion of cash flows from the indirect to the direct method. The textbook goes through an example where step one is aggregate all revenue and all expenses. Step two, remove all non-cash items from aggregated revenues and expenses and break out the remaining items into the relevant cash flow items. And then finally, step number three, convert the accrual amounts to cash flow amounts by adjusting for working capital changes, okay? Which is basically uh, looking at our T accounts using the direct method. So again, uh, any question on the CFA level one exam has got to be answered in 90 seconds. So this is a, a long example. To get a better idea of a typical type of question for this LOS, let's go to the next slide and do one practice question. The following information in millions on a company is available. Cost of goods sold, 500. Increase in total assets, 250. Increase in total liabilities, 200. Change in inventory, negative 30. And changes in accounts payable, negative 25. The amount of cash in millions that the company paid to its suppliers is closest to A, 445, B, 495, or C, 505. Okay, I like this question. It's regarding the direct cash flows because we need to look at uh, how much the company paid to its suppliers. So as we've seen in the previous LOS, you have to have this formula memorized that the cash paid to suppliers is our cost of goods sold plus the increase in inventory, okay? That gives us our purchases. Then it's less the increase in accounts payable and that gives you your cash paid to your suppliers. But as I mentioned in, the, in that LOS, in that video, you've got to be careful with your signs, okay? What have they done here? They've changed the signs, they've reversed them. It's not plus, the inventory didn't go up, it went down, so we have to change the sign to a negative. And the accounts payable didn't increase, they decreased, so we have to change from less to a plus, okay? So that was the key that you had to be uh, aware of in this question, that the signs changed. So the formula then becomes cost of goods sold minus the decrease in inventory equals the purchases from suppliers. And then the accounts payable went down, so it's plus the decrease in accounts payable, and that's gonna equal the cash to suppliers. Uh, so 500 minus 30 equals 470 plus 25 equals 495. The correct answer is B. So my advice is write out the formula the way that you, uh, that you know it. Then check the data that they're giving to you. In this case, you're reversing both signs. In some cases, you might just be reversing one sign. So then look, oh wait, normally this is an increase. They gave me a decrease. I got to change the sign. Uh, this is supposed to be increase. They gave me a decrease. I need to change the sign. And that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.